Okay, okay, okay. I hope you guys are ready because we are diving deep here. 20,000 leagues deep. We are going into the inventory dashboard. There is so much going on here. So much new information here. So much content that is just not talked about that Amazon provides. Essentially, Amazon does what Amazon does best. And it takes the best in industry of other products or services combines all that into one place or marketplace and then provides it to customers, uh, sellers being their customer, right? And the inventory dashboard has tons of that, has tons of KPI, key performance index information, and a lot of the automation processes that you can get from other third-party softwares. Let's go dive right into it. So it is the last of the links at the top of manage inventory is inventory dashboard. You click on it and you have this wonderful view which has all the information pertinent to scaling and growing a successful Amazon business. I mean, you don't have an Amazon business if you don't have inventory. And this gives you so much insight and analytics and key performance indicators to what exactly is happening with your inventory, which is your cash flow, which is your assets, which is everything. So we're going to really dive deep into this. We're going to look at performance. This is a brand new tab. We're going to really dive deep into this part. Uh, restock inventory inventory, manage excess inventory, then there's the inventory age tab, fixed stranded inventory tab, which we covered previously in manage inventory. It was one of the hyperlinks at the top. And then we have manage FBA returns, which besides voice of the customer, this is the only place where you can get direct information as to what customers are saying to Amazon about products or orders that they've uh, had fulfilled by you. or by Amazon, but were your products rather. So voice of the customer, which is another section we cover, uh, will give you information that the customers are providing to Amazon about a specific product or products you sell, while managed FBA returns gives you reasons for a specific order being returned. So here's your inventory dashboard, and your inventory dashboard is a, a set of all different cards right here and they pertain to your entire inventory uh, its health its efficiency its in stock performance and these are key performance indicators otherwise known as KPIs the first one right here being your inventory performance index it's based on how well uh, you keep popular products in stock the inventory levels you have of them how quickly you fix any listing problems and essentially how well you maintain the health of your inventory. Next, you have SKUs to restock. Uh, SKUs to restock is just that. It's the number of SKUs that went out of stock in the past 30 days. So you see here our number right here. Excess units is the next, which is units of inventory that have greater quantity than need to be in there currently. So essentially any product that has more than 90 days in stock or based on velocity, they assume that that product or ASIN will have more than 90 days of supply or if they believe based on the velocity and based on the monthly inventory uh, charges that the cost of holding your inventory for greater than those 30 and 60, 90 days uh, will be more than if you were to sell it now and take action. So they put those excess units right in here. Uh, next is the days in inventory. It's uh, essentially how often you flip the product. So you see uh, our product right here on average turns 8.3. Here gives you some more information about the manage excess inventory uh, and ways to improve it as we're going to go into that when we go into the hyperlink manage excess inventory. Some notifications here and ways to fix them, whether it's improving traffic, fixing stranded inventory. Uh, you can view the units that are going to have long-term storage fees, which happen on February 15th. And then you could, they also have an option to create outlet deal, which we're going to cover here. Uh, we have two SKUs in there that qualify for that. And then the last two cards here on the bottom are your FBA inventory age 
It just says it states here. They give you a breakdown from zero to 300 to over a year worth of inventory, how many units in stock you have in each breakdown of the tier, whether it's zero to 90, 91 to 180, 181 to 365 or over a year, and how much of a percentage of your inventory is that. And then back to the SKUs to restock today, here's just a, a quick view right here of the inventory that you should be restocking. They give you the units sold in the past 30 days and then the recommended order amount, which like I said, by default, they're recommending is 30 to 60 days worth of inventory to keep an effective way of maximizing in-stock performance and uh, you know, avoiding any long-term storage fees so you're not overstocking and you're not understocking. So there you go. That's a very high overview of the inventory dashboard. Stay lit.